When my wife and I bought our first home, we were like a lot of young couples in that we didn't have a big stack of cash for a down payment, despite the lavish lifestyles two school teachers would be expected to enjoy. We also wanted to keep our payments as low as possible. For us, an FHA mortgage was a great fit. I frequently share our experience to reassure clients that FHA mortgages are often victims of bad press, mostly due to the mortgage insurance requirements. But the reality is they have distinct advantages and those insurance requirements just got much more affordable. Let's discuss. Howdy all, Randy Rogers, Mortgage Loan Advisor here. Today, I wanted to discuss FHA loan myths and share some exciting info regarding FHA mortgage insurance premiums, or MIP. Let's start with a couple of common misconceptions. One, FHA loans have higher interest rates. This is definitely incorrect, as FHA loans usually have lower interest rates than conventional loans. According to Mortgage News Daily, Average FHA rates today, March 17, are about four-tenths of a percent lower than average conventional rates nationwide. Just to illustrate, if you were to get a $300,000 30-year mortgage at 6.5%, your principal and interest would be $1,896.20 a month. At 6.1%, that would drop to $1,817.98. These figures are just intended as a hypothetical example, not as an advertisement for available rates. Number two, Another myth is that FHA loans are only for first-time home buyers. Nothing could be further from the truth. They are available to anyone with a qualifying FICO score buying a home under the FHA loan limits for their specific county, $524,400 for a single-family home here in Guadalupe County. They are especially useful for folks with credit scores that might not get them a conventional loan. Number three, some folks think they need bigger down payments to qualify for an FHA loan, 10 or even 20%. The truth is you only need three and a half percent of the purchase price of the home. Putting down more has benefits such as reduced MIP and potentially better interest rates, but it's definitely not required. Lastly, if I get an FHA mortgage, I am stuck with MIP for the life of the loan. Well, true and not true. If you put down at least 10%, MIP will drop off your loan after 11 years. If less than 10%, it will be required for the life of the loan, but you can choose to refinance in the future into a loan that either has no mortgage insurance or will eventually reach the 20% equity level that will allow the MIP or PMI to drop off. Here is the big point of the day. Even if you have MIP on your loan, you should know that the rate for MIP has recently been significantly reduced by the Federal Housing Administration from 0.85% annually to 0.55%. This is more than one third lower. As an example, if you purchased that $300,000 mortgage, your annual MIP would have been $2,550 or $212.50 a month. At the new rate, it's only $1,650 annually or $137.50 per month. When thinking about that amount and whether or not it's acceptable, keep in mind that here in Texas, home values have appreciated over 125% on average between 2012 and 2022 and 217% between 2000 and 2022. That same $300,000 home in 2012 would have been more than doubled in value to $675,000. We can't predict the future, of course. But the home market's history tells us that MIP is a small price to pay compared to the potential growth in our investment in a home. If I can help you purchase or refinance a home here in the great state of Texas, I would truly be honored. You can reach me by phone at 83024-HOUSE or through my website, mortgagesbyrandy.com. Please click that subscribe button and have a blessed day.